Walters, there to mop up. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Gets the handball. Pierce intercepts the ball. Running in for the goals now. thoughts before a big game were usually pretty simple. I'd tell myself to stick to your game and you'll win. In round three, an undefeated Fremantle took on Gold Coast. And one thing was clear. The Suns had come to play. Gold Coast kicked their first. This is the ball. He wants it back. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. Head down, going for goal. A goal to Gold Coast. The first quarter was a goal for goal shootout with the Suns up by six points at quarter time. The Dockers got off to a fast start in the second, with two quick goals giving them a one goal lead. The Dockers are in front. Before the Suns hit back. Guided down nicely by Day. Martin going for number one. Gold Coast get a goal. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Lonigan with the tag. He kicks it. I need to bleep myself about now. That's two in a row for Gold Coast. This ends possession. Martin gets the kick off before he's poleaxed by Hanley. The football hits the running man. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the pick. He takes the shot. I see it, but I don't believe it. Puppy with a whistle, dances favorably for Brazier. A short handball, Hill puts his head down and runs in. A goal late in the quarter kept Frio in the contest at half time, but they now knew that if they were going to have any chance at a win, they would need to lift their game. And after half time, that's exactly what they did. Very few marks inside 450. Wits takes advantage. Swallow keeping calm, and he kicks the ball out of the 50. McCarthy gathers, hits the running man. He's running hot, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. He's really a ball magnet. Hill with the kick. Good mark. Valentine lining up with the goals. Valentine kicks for goal. It's a mark. But were wasted opportunities going to come back to bite them? Matera kicks for goal. Is it high enough, long enough, straight enough? The scoreboard starting to worry Fremantle now. He gets a fist to it. He knocks it down. He's got a handball away. Tabernak approaching home now. This to equalise. Matirik knocks it through for a point. With just five points in the game heading into the final quarter, the Dockers were looking for someone to stand up. The answer came in the form of Cam McCarthy and Hayden Ballantyne. Nice mark there. McCarthy watching, waiting, open. Fremantle back in front. This match is swinging back and forth like a metronome. To get the handball out, it's good to leather. Score for Fremantle. That's two now. He's playing well. The Dockers could score the last four goals. The Gold Coast Suns, however, refuse to give in. Lonigan has it. As cool as a prize narrow as he lines up for this shot. Lonigan kicks for goal. The goal for the Suns. Lonigan for the second goal. It's good to leather. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. The long kick doesn't make the goal. We're all tied up now. With the crowd behind them, Frio looked to put the Suns to the sword. And Cam McCarthy had sword in hand. Going for goal number five. A one-goal lead put the Dockers. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Gets the handball. Pierce intercepts the ball. Running in for the goals now. Pierce goes for home. McCarthy with beautiful hands above the head. McCarthy. Take that, he says. Great goal. What a turnaround. Fremantle certainly fought an uphill battle to win. A two-goal win and the Dockers were three from three and feeling confident. But their next game would be their greatest test yet, facing a tough road trip to Canberra to take on the Giants. Hello, 
show. I'm Dennis Cometti, and I'm glad you could join us for today's match, which has all the makings of an epic encounter between Greater Western Sydney and the Dockers. Heading into round four, the Dockers were undefeated and on top of the ladder, but they'd been playing a risky game, with all of their wins seeing them come from behind. Today, against a fellow top five side, were Frio about to be held accountable for their inconsistent play. Hamlin gets the tap. Deft touch from Spur. The spill ball is collected. Gets a handball away towards the man on the run. You'd have to say that's magnificent. Cameron just gets it through. The game officially underway now. Oh, that's a nice long kick. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. 40 minutes from home. Buckley from a 45 degree angle. It's just a question of accuracy. Greater Western Sydney lead by two goals. Davis with the kick. He grabs it off the ground. Four mops up the ball. He kicks it long. Good mark. The Giants by three goals. Cameron has been a solid contributor for this team. GWS could be happy with the early scoreboard pressure they are applying to Fremantle. Three goals to nothing in the first quarter, and the early pressure was on. Lob. It's really good at getting up in the ruck. These directional taps need some more work. Matera with good strong hands. The Dockers gave themselves opportunities at the start of the second quarter, but failed to capitalise. Matera waits, he's missed the goal. And the Giants were more than willing to make them pay. It's generally less disastrous than indecision. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Long with a pretty easy kick. Going for goal number one. He's having a ball, so excuse the fun. Long getting his first run there. Down 16 points at half time and in desperate need of a response. At the start of the third quarter, however, that response was nowhere to be seen. So well timed. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Cameron punts the ball for goal. And they like it behind the goals. He likes it. Goal. Cameron makes the hat trick. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. What a great goal by Ballantyne. A scrappy goal brought life back to the Dockers as they pulled the deficit back to just 10 points. Haynes doesn't waste that opportunity. Gives it to Bennett. He's heading for home. Nice work from Bennett. Gets his first. They now are trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. But the Giants soon made it clear who was in control of this game. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Greater Western Sydney get a goal. Kelly looking like a Manchester United player. Tap by the ball. Johnson not faced by the pressure gets his kick away. Reed watching with anticipation. Goal from a long way out by Reed. He sinks his first goal. The Giants in front. McCarthy gets it on the bounce. Suckers the ball away. Perfect kick. That's his second. A late Brandon Matera goal put the margin back at 16 points. The Dockers had one last chance to turn this around. Inside 50 forward marks and their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of the Dockers. For Frio, the fourth quarter was one to forget. Lob taps the ball. Green gets a big push in the back. Green with the shot. The Giants get the goal. Punches it with the ball now. Finding the running player. I can already tell that's not too good. He's injured. Walters with the interception. Hill, a good crummer. Jams it on the boot now. Nice work from Matera. He lays it on the boot for a giant kick. Tabernet with no time to delay with that kick is in his possession. That's not there. He keeps it alive despite the traffic around him. In rounds three and four, Fremantle experienced the highs and lows of AFL football. With their first loss on the board, the Dockers were keen to bounce back next week. But would they have to do so without their number one Ruckman?